Ah. What's up guys, it's been a while since last time. I think I said that in the last video as well, but whatever. My name is Kimi Ellis, nice to see you here. If you're new to the channel, you probably are or not, whatever. Go check out my Instagram at kimi.elias. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, thumbs up if you like it. So today we're gonna take a product shot of the new Larsen X Tommy Björk Cognac. It's brand new. This has some dents and scratches and dirt on it, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna make sure it's clean and my stool is breaking, but let's continue. Disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Tommy Björk or Larsen Cognac in any way. I went to buy it myself, got one bottle. Uh, they were pretty much out in every liquor store that we have, so I really did have to like find it. I got some props with me. I have my old photo book. Yes, there is actual pictures of me as a young boy. Uh, here you can see a couple of them. I got a wooden box to give it a nice flat surface. We are using the backdrop, like a infinite black backdrop, which is actually an old bed sheet to hang up with duct tape on the wall. This is why I call this the ghetto studio, because everything is so ghetto in here. I got some proper glasses to fit the drink that we are taking pictures of, so I got cognac glasses. I got some old newspaper. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not, but I think I might burn it up a little bit just to give it some more texture, some interesting like particles and just overall, you know, interesting. But I don't know if I can burn it in here. Maybe I go outside. Yeah, I probably go outside and burn it because it's raining outside, so it's safe. I got fake cognac. It's actually coffee and water. Thank you, Peter McKinnon for this trick tip. I think this is, will work just fine. I just have to lit it up perfectly uh, so it actually looks like it. Otherwise it's going to be really dark and I know that because I tried to make a product video of this bottle but that failed big time because you can see it's, you can see everything from it. It's just pitch black glass. And the mirroring is just awful. It was, it was bad. It was like really bad. Hey. Ah. I'm using as my photo camera the Sony a7 III, my beloved one. So I'm using the Sony a7 III as the camera that I'm taking the picture with just because it's full frame and it's much better than the Sony a6500 that I'm shooting this with. I have the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens on it just so I can actually get that perfect look on it that I'm going after. And it's overall a really good lens. The B-roll that you've seen here is taken with that lens. So it's really, really versatile and it just works really good for everything. On the Sony a6500, I have that Sigma 16 millimeter on, that's an equivalent to like 24 mil about. So let's hop on to the product shot. Now I'm gonna start setting this thing up. Stay tuned. First, we're gonna clean the bottle though. I use microfiber cloth to rub everything off. Make it as good as possible and the rest I do in post. I think it's pretty decent now. I'm gonna clean one of the glasses as well. Know what's going on in here. I think this is cleaner. So I'm using these wood woolen gloves, whatever they are. I don't know what they're called in English. Just so I minimize the fingerprint stains on the glass surfaces. So that's gonna easy up my work in post. First, I'm gonna look at my setup before I do anything with the, with the lights so I can see exactly what I'm working with here. Uh, I think the, the book and the bottle works perfectly together. The colors match and it's this old rustic feeling to it. So that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm still gonna add maybe 
the burnt paper I'm not really sure the reason I'm having this on here I hope it's not gonna melt is it melt? No, can it melt? maybe? I don't know uh, just to give this like spotlight kind of effect for it because otherwise it's way too big and then on the bottle it doesn't look good when it's a big round soft box and the reflection is just horrible if this doesn't work I might have to put up the softbox and modify the softbox to a rectangular softbox with some cardboard because we're in the ghetto studio so we use cardboard and duct tape to everything and yeah I forgot to tell you but I'm using the Godox SL60W as my main light now I use that light that is just trash but this is probably gonna be somewhere somewhere back give it a nice like backlighting or something I'm not really sure yet but I'm actually just going to use that light otherwise maybe a small LED light if I can find it because look at this mess I might use the small LED light to light up the cognac itself as you can see right there uh, the turbo light it's kind of in a almost 45 degree angle it's just behind there just to give it some nice backlight uh, I had to take the thing off there so you can see me right now otherwise it's totally dark in here uh, I'm pretty happy with the setup right now let's take the first test pictures and see what we get and kids don't look straight into a LED light that is 100% you might get blind I can't see shit right now I'm trying to keep the ISO as low as possible just so we don't get any grain on the picture so I might have to slow down the shutter speed to get the shot that I want. Let's see, put it on timer. And as you can see, I have that shadow showing off in the back and I do not want that to happen. So I have to figure something out. Uh, that's the only bad thing with the spotlight effect. It gives these harsh, harsh shadows. I don't want them to show I could easily get them out in post but I'm trying to get everything as perfect in the camera so what I did to get rid of the shadows was I moved the backlight closer to the product and I moved the main light the Godox SL60 up to the roof and pointed more downwards so that's how the shadow is now pointing more downwards and not upwards that's how I got rid of the shadows right now and I think it works let's take another test, test shot and as you can see right over here is a reflection but that bothers me that bothers me much does not look good but I think we just have to go with it now because because this is a ghetto studio I use cardboard and duct tape and some clamps so let's modify that light. I took another test shot now when I modified the light and moved it a little bit backwards so it's not so harsh on the bottle. Uh, it looks pretty decent. The reflection that you see is actually from the glass. And as you can see, it reflects everything, like everything. I also noticed that I think I have to move everything a little bit further away from the background because I can see all the wrinkles on the bed sheets on the backdrop so I need to get it more out of focus and that's done by moving everything a little bit forward and the backdrop a little bit backwards so you know get a little bit more depth more depth depth <laughs> depth 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 you know what i'm talking about so it's blurry and you can't see all the wrinkles and stuff i pretty much got all the wrinkles away with the weight of my phone there in the back just played with the light there moved it a little bit took everything forward the backdrop backwards and all that now i'm gonna lit up the white thingy sorry i got a total black blackout of all the english words right now because i haven't spoken english in a while so or make these vlogs 
But yeah, I'm gonna light it up like this. So now I'm filling up the glasses with the fake cognac. I gotta let it sit for a while because it got bubbles in it because it's water and that kind of stuff. So I don't actually know why there is bubbles. I don't know if it's because of the water or the coffee, but then again, the coffee has water. So it's probably because of the water and cognac doesn't have any bubbles in it. So I have to rest for a while, just wait for it to settle down. And then I'm gonna take the final shot or a test shot of the final shot. I might even try to like play with the book a little bit, maybe turn it around because of the paper. The paper looks really good when it's like old and I don't even know how old that thing is. I'm using manual focus so I can be really, really sure that the label is tech sharp. I think the picture needs something in it and I'm gonna try to burn the paper. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I got some water, if something happens, I got some water and it's raining outside, so I'm gonna do it outside. Okay, so that did not work out. I gotta find something to put. I actually realized uh, when I blow out the candle, it gave it a nice little smoke. I'm gonna try to do that next. But I need something, I need something in it. I don't know what, something. Okay, so I solved the problem with just cropping the picture even more in I have the lens at 70 mil, 75 mil, I'm sorry. And there you can see my settings as well. Shutter speed 113, f2.8 and ISO 160. And now I think it looks pretty good actually. I just needed to be, where am I filming? It just needed to be cropped in a little bit. So let's take another test shot. My battery just died. These old Sony batteries are so terrible. What I was about to say was, yeah, the smoke thing on the candle. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna set everything up, uh, turn on the candle, put the put the camera on self timer so it takes five pictures. I, I can't remember what that is, but I'm gonna do that. So I took a Instagram friendly portrait shot of the product as well. And here you can see the final result. Please let me know what you think about it. I think it turned out really good. Pretty much the way I wanted it to. First off, I thought of putting some oranges there because of it has this orange taste-ish thing and some cinnamon and stuff like that. But I went with this old rustic look instead. So it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the end result. Please let me know in the comments down below which of these pictures was your favorite. I think all of them turned out really good actually. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Thank you for following along. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. More content coming up 2021. Let's go, I say that every year, but we'll see. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Go check out my Instagram at kimi.elias. Thank you all. Peace out. See you in the next video. Ghetto Studio is out.